Charlie, when we first started our Redbird experiences, one of the first things we got introduced to was the TD series. You had built uh, just a phenomenally capable, very inexpensive, all things considered, but at the same time, more important, and I'll emphasize again, highly capable sim that allowed people to do a tremendous amount of training, literally in the comfort of their own home. But TD is growing. It's growing up. Aren't you proud? Yeah, <laughs> we are. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been a it's been a very popular device, especially for flight schools who are looking for uh, procedural trainers, basic IFR uh, transition trainers, and something for a much lower cost than the uh, larger devices. What's a TD these days? The seven thousand for the TD and eight thousand dollars for the TD two. The difference being the TD essentially a single engine generic aircraft, much like a one seventy two. The TD two adds the ability to have a high performance engine constant-speed propeller and retractable landing gear in any combination thereof. And what have you done to it? We've made two big improvements over the past year. One is the upper portion of it is now interchangeable. So just like our large devices, you can have a glass panel unit and a steam gauge unit in one device. You're not locked to one like you were originally. The second big improvement now is we've added monitor expansion to allow the customers to add two extra screens off to the sides to get a more peripheral view. And how much? $4,000 right now for the upgrade. It comes with a new computer, extra processing power, extra video card, and two extra screens with all the mounting. What are people telling you in regards to what kind of utilization they're getting out of it, what they're learning, if there are any surprises in the process of dealing with these customers and how they're uh, undertaking their missions to uh, either train themselves, keep current, or whatever the case may be? The overall response has been very, very positive. The people who are putting it in their flight school line are now able to offer something that's a very low cost for their customers to come in and rent, to stay proficient. The people who are using it in their home or office can now go over and within five minutes load up a flight, shoot a couple of approaches, stay instrument proficient, or gain new knowledge. They'll use it to fly into areas that maybe they're going to a new airport and they want to shoot the approaches they're likely to see at that new airport when they go before they ever go out to their airplane. Any good pilot is a student for life, right? You're always looking for ways to maintain proficiency and learn something new. And the TD provides that for you. The TD provides that kind of convenient learning platform that you can install at your home, in your office, right there next to where you are, so that when you want to go out and shoot approaches and get some experience, you don't have to drive 30 minutes to the airport and pre-flight an airplane, get in the airplane and go fly. It's right there. You turn your desk chair around and queue up a flight. There's no reason not to stay proficient. What geographic areas can this cover? Is there the potential of flying real live approaches such as that would be in my home field? The entire world is in there, both from the scenery standpoint and from an approach standpoint. We also just released a new a subscription service through one of our partners that allows you to download real live data on a 28 day cycle so that your approach database in the sim stays current all the time. You have some really enticing options for the TD series paired among them, which the first time we demoed that we kind of went, okay, does this work? Until you use it and kind of go, whoa, this works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an excellent device to train initial radio communications, absolutely. And it immerses you in a training session as well, so you're not just sitting at a computer theoretically talking, you're actually using it during a flight. What are some of the other available options? Cygnus is a very popular one. Cygnus allows you to connect your iPad to the simulation, so it takes what's going on in the simulation and it fools the location services layer in the iPad. So it's more than just working with one EFB app, so that you can use the, that EFB, learn how to use an EFB in flight training, and train like you fly. Thanks so much, Charlie. Appreciate it. We'll see you next year. Aero TV is brought to you by... Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Over the past two decades, no resource has compiled as much expert valued information about the sport plane world than the Sport Plane Resource Guide. Over 1,500 pages, hundreds of aircraft, dozens of how-tos and directories. All this and more will be coming to the sport aviation world soon with the new all-electronic and updatable Sport Plane Resource Guide for your iPad, iPhone, Kindle, tablet, PC, or other electronic devices. Get your order in now www.sportplane.com